frequently get asked a lot of questions about knives. What knives should I buy? How do I store them? How do I sharpen them? So what I thought I would do is like a three-part mini-series uh, covering th those three topics. Very exciting. And so on, uh, today I wanted to cover storage. So if you have um, the luxury of being able to designate a single drawer to knives, that is awesome. You, I'm sure you've all seen the trays, the little inserts that you can put in a drawer and you can just lay all your knives there and really that's a great way to store your knives. Just throwing them into a drawer with a million other utensils is probably not a good idea. They get nicked and scratched and don't last very long so I don't recommend that but if you have a drawer you can designate four knives and you have that tray or that insert then that's awesome. What I usually end up doing, because I like the convenience of having my knives on the counter and easy to you know, access, I've resorted to a knife block, which I love. And you don't have to get a set. We'll talk about that a little bit later. But any knife block is really awesome. This is my older one. And I wanted to show you something, because this, is, this may not be something that everyone knows about, oh, about um, knives. But when you, if you are using a knife block, and you'll notice, that the slots on this one are vertical and on this one are horizontal. If you have a block that has vertical slots, you need to make sure that you insert the knife upside down so it slides down on the spine. You know, it's a little counterintuitive, but when you, when you do that, then you save the life of the blade. It's very important. So anyhow, and then your smaller ones, you know, once again, upside down, spine first. They pull out easier when they are on their spine. So that's just one nice thing about um, knowing about the block. And if you have them, if it's horizontal, you don't really have to worry about it because, uh, you know, either way is fine. So, but I wanted to show you another tool, and I think this is a tool that a lot of people are not aware of. And and if you have the right setup in your kitchen and a wall where you can hang this, this really is my favorite. And it's a magnetic bar. And you fasten this to your wall, a kitchen wall, someplace that's uh, easily accessible. And you can not only hang your knives on this, but what's really cool is you can put tools on it. I mean, I just love this. And so anything is really easy to get at if you just have this on the wall and just grab it. But once again, when you pull it, when you put it down, then the spine should go first, okay? And when you pull it off, you should pull it off with a spine um, last so that it, it's the one that rubs against the magnetic thing. Keeps them really sharp, really organized. Anyway, so this is a little bit about storage. Next time we'll talk about uh, sharpening. Stay tuned.